Welcome back to Crypto Games for another video. Currently away, visiting some family. I want to uh, talk to you about a project that goes by the name of Seek VR. Interesting project. And matter of fact, I've got an interesting uh, subject to talk about, which is you know, on my journey down here, that made me want to talk about this project and actually buy some of this coin. Is it sound interesting? Drop that like. Did I say that? I need to let you know. Oh, find my screen. Uh, this is not financial advice. Please do your further research before you invest your money. So, Seek VR. What is it for those that are new? Seek VR is basically a project that's allowing people to have fun with their favorite fan uh, artists. So fans have have fun with their artist favorite artists in music. Yeah, my S's. Uh, and you can do it in the shape of VR. And you can get involved in different metaverses. So, well, it's one, they basically built like an entire metaverse with loads of different venues and things like that for people to get involved and actually see their favorite artists live. And you can see here, like, world class partnerships. So, Seek VR partnership with Universal Music grants rights to live performances with top tier artists, including Bon Jovi, Lady Gaga, U2, String, Ziggy Marley, you know, all of these. And I think more will come so let me explain what happened on my journey right which is why i thought i had to buy this about 8 p.m 9 p.m i'm traveling you know it's dark because you know, in the uk it's dark traveling on my journeys and i'm listening to radio one and this girl starts to uh, perform in radio one's metaverse so for me i just felt like and I'm listening, I'm thinking, rah, you know, she's shouting out all the people that are in the uh, metaverse, listening to her recording, singing, her do her thing, right? Um, and then I thought to myself, this is it. The, the trend of metaverse is kicking back in again. So I thought to myself, is there something that's going to be as big as, or if not bigger, than what Radio 1's doing now? Because you got to understand, right, Radio 1's massive. So when they start putting their performances in a metaverse for artists to be able to sing, and then loads of other people can, like, really get engrossed in that, that's a sign, like, that's a sign of where music is going, where entertainment is going. And for me, I need to find something as close to it. And I feel like Seek VR is as close to it, right? Being able to get involved with your artist, have this whole metaverse, do it on the go kind of thing because they use your phone. And I'm going to talk about, a bit about the phone and the whole VR stuff as well because I'm be, I've been seeing posts how many people believe that phone-based type of VR is dying and it might die out. You know, when you think about the technology as to where VR is going, anyway, I'll talk about that in a second. So let's just talk more on this because I bought some of this and I think it's a seriously good buy. So, you know, welcome to the future of digital media. Uh, I, I feel like the trend of metaverse is going to kick in and this could, you know, it sits in both. It sits in metaverse, it sits in music. It can actually lift both ways. Seek VR connects creators directly to their fans in the metaverse. <coughs> I wonder if uh, Radio 1, because if you look here, like partners, Apple, T-Mobile, I wonder if in the future you might get more radio stations that want to do this, where everybody can just come in, because I think with the way radio stations do it is you've got to go on their website. What if you could just do your phone, plug it in, you know, it's already connected to, you buy one of these devices where, you know, all the radio stations are connected to this, and then boom, you can do it on the go. Uh, Seek VR pa uh, patented VR headset bundles are currently sold at major retailers, so you can buy these VR headsets anywhere. Well, in the, you know, T-Mobile, Apple Store, uh, and, and it says Universal, I don't know about that, and it's says here performances with top tier artists including Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Neo, you know Sting and, and probably many more to come right and if you really listen to what I heard you know driving down uh, you would have heard how hyped people were you, you can hear the woman like really engrossed and just saying you know let me see some dance moves and stuff and I could picture without seeing it I could picture how people would be in the metaverse because you know I played like VR worlds is it VR worlds? No, Horizon Worlds. And I've done all those you know, VR chat. I've done all of that. So I know what it's like being inside and being engrossed into these kind of things. Uh, so this, you know, this is what led me to Seek VR. Seek VR or Seek enables content creators to monetize their work using Seek's patent award winning virtual event streaming platform to reach audiences all over the world. Now, <clears throat> there's constantly events. You're going to constantly see uh, people performing your Beyonce's, your Usher's, or whoever it is, your J Jason Derulo's, Jason Derulo, trust me, I know about that, uh, you're going to see them perform a lot, but some people don't get the opportunity to go to these events, one, sometimes they're too expensive, two, they're too far away, people don't want to travel too far away, so this is where a handy metaverse 
comes into play for music and this really will change the music space and I think it might be a standard in the future going forward you know you can get your tickets you order a ticket you know like you just like be like an NFT or something right and then boom you have access to the concert in a headset at home where you can chill and you know if these headsets are made cheap great because everyone can get involved and you can just chill now you're immersed into this metaverse you can see jason derulo on the stage performing laughing or lady gaga whoever it is and now you're in this concert that other people pay to go because they're closer there and you're too far away and you're still engrossed and involved in this right at the front center of the stage so there's a huge huge potential for this kind of project to blow huge market like it could dominate the music space with something like this if the metaverse was to continue to grow so and let me just touch on this now because this makes a valid point right phone-based vr is dying i remember when you could get these google cardboard cutout boxes and you was able to put your phone in it right you put your phone in it and then you can like see all vr and that was kind of cool at the start you know it was great because it was like the first time you know you tried it you know what it's like right but as time's gone on vr has gotten better so you've got your quests your quest pro you've got like the new uh a ps vr2 that's out so the lenses you know the pancake lenses all of these things are getting better so it does make sense what they're saying you know when you put your phone in your phone doesn't have no amazing lenses you're going off of these lenses here on the cardboard box or whatever it is so seek vr has a similar thing right <clears throat> they have a, a div where you can open the device put your phone in and then you close it and then you can do it from your phone so i don't know maybe that whole era of vr may die down right and this is what kind of almost stopped me from buying seek vr is i it made sense and i agree you know technology is changing we don't need a thing where we just put our phone in and then we just hope that it's going to look good but then i thought to myself time's evolving and as time evolves so does technology who's to say in the future and seek i don't know if you're watching or anyone from seek who's to say in the future something like this device manages to use some of the best lenses you can get out there pancake lenses the best type of lenses you can get out there where you could still slot your phone in but or, or actually no without having to slot your phone in just the best type of pancake lens vr headset but then you can uh, connect your phone via bluetooth because if that works game over what happens is all of these new you know smart uh, what's it called uh, uh meta quest all of these standard vr headsets that we have now the big bulky ones and things like that they just disappear completely because now you'll have yourself or even if they did stay you've got a huge fine competitor now a competitor where people can now connect with their phones in a bluetooth way which you know because you keep keep the phone in your pocket you just put it in your pocket connect it bluetooth and you know via to my my bluetooth vr headset you know, it sees everything. Is this basically casts, mirror casts everything off your phone onto this headset, which now this new mobile headset has phenomenal pancake lenses on it and stuff. That could be the future. And that could be where uh, VR evolves. I'm just saying. And that could be where the smart phones become dominant because everyone's got a smartphone in their pocket and let me tell you something if it happens i don't know if it's seek but if one of these companies do it where you can just you know grab a cheap device or a you know a, 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 an okay price device which has amazing pancake lenses on them you know i'm saying pancake because you know with the pro vr pro right the meta pro <coughs> where the f te technology is so phenomenal that you don't even need to slot your phone in it anymore you just bomb bluetooth done or whatever it is, Wi-Fi, whatever it is, and all of a sudden you're now connected to this device in a wireless way with your phone. You can just go on your phone and just choose what you want to do kind of thing. That game there, that con that metaverse there, and then, and then bomb. And that's it, you're immersed. And then if you want, you can get these like Bluetooth controls to walk around and stuff with your phone, right? That's what I see. Because I'm not going to entirely rule out this whole thing here. Phone-based VR dying. I think this, this box thing with rubbish lenses well, and i call them rubbish because they are dated now like you know we've got new technology for vr these are dated i think that's the end but i do feel like in the future and we've got to look forward to the future there could be a new type of technology that allows us just to connect with bluetooth to our uh, headsets and that changes that absolute game for vr going forward mobile devices will be the hottest thing in vr so and and if that's the case these guys are halfway there. They've already got a patented device that focuses on mobile phones. 
that are linked to Universal, T-Mobile, Apple. So all they would need is, and even if I don't even know how it works in relation to their partners, but all you need is big money to come in and say, you know what? This idea here, like something like a Bluetooth, you know, connection where we just have the best pancake lenses that works. They're on fire. That's it. That was simply on fire. So I'm investing now in my mindset under the belief that in the future, because not now, uh, VR for the phones is all right now. It's not great. But I'm investing based on that. I think that in the future, mobile VR technology is going to absolutely change the space. And everybody's got a VR headset in their pocket through their phone, right? So Seek is the future of music streaming and publishing. Did I say this? The content monetized. So Seek enables content creators to monetize their work using Seek's patent award winning virtual event streaming platform to reach audiences all over the world. I said this, but I'm going to say it again. Seek unlocks new revenue streams for music artists and creators, offering a brand new way to directly reach out uh, and monetize their fan base. Seek tokens enable real-time artist payments verified on the blockchain. If they start up a ticketing thing, because I know there's different types of like ticketing services that are coming into uh, crypto. I'm what's the Get Protocol or something like that. Uh, and I know there's another one, uh, Cent Fury, Center Fury. And my patrons in the VIP group were talking about it, right? Uh, but one that stands out to me that I know most is this one here, Get Pro Get Protocol. It's similar to Center Fury, uh, but this one's a bit more established. Uh, where you can go on, you can buy, you know, book some tickets, make some tickets, and then sell them kind of thing for whatever it is that you're doing, right? A complete ticketing solution. So if Seek was to partner with something like this or do something like this by themselves, where, you know, they have a situation where people can start booking tickets for artists, it's game over. It's changing everything. Because I remember back in the day where people would go on websites, and you probably still do, and then you can buy tickets on Amazon and eBay, right? Where you can go on, buy yourself a ticket, and then you go to this concert. This could change the way things happen, you know, if they have a type of ticket in the surface like this, where they offer it as NFTs or something. So there's a huge demand right now for Metaverse. I think it's going to come back strong. It's going to shock a lot of people because you're not prepared for it. But I'm trying to prepare you now. Pay attention to the Metaverse. Pay attention to music. Right? I said this in a few videos back. And this mixes both together, music and Metaverse. So uh, I'm just letting you know, you know you need to pay attention to this because it could pleasantly surprise a lot of people. Right now, it's mega cheap. And I call seven pence mega cheap. It's about 10 cents. So if you look at the market cap, it's a 61 million market cap. Uh, total supply, 1 billion. I don't know if that's the max or not. It shows here like markets tab where you can buy this. Bing X, Mexi Global, Gate.io, Pancake Swap. I'd be careful of Pancake Swap. There's not much liquidity on there. So you might get hit with, with an impact fee. Maybe go to some of the ones that hold more liquidity, you know. So, uh, but you know, you can grab this stuff. You can grab Seek VR on there. Um, I think that this could probably 100x. I think when the music kicks off and grows, more people get involved in music via uh, music crypto. And then when, because this, this tackles a lot of things. <coughs> this tackles music, it tackles the metaverse, and then it tackles VR. Like VR, just, just that section alone could blow up massively. So one of three things, if, if music blows up, Seek, Seek VR is gonna blow up. If VR becomes a hot thing, and everybody starts getting involved in VR, this is going to blow up. Because what's going to happen? People are going to come onto uh, CoinMarketCap, just search the words VR. Look what pops up straight away in the search for VR. you got a few there. you got Seek VR, v Victoria VR, and Metaverse, and yours in v MOVR, Moon, uh, Moon River. But the ones that relate to actual VR, you know, VR capability is Seek VR and Victoria VR. So just from people searching the words VR, these stand tall straight away. This is going to make people click it and search it and find it. Same goes to over here, right? This is what happens to tap VR. VR. Uh, so this comes up, Victoria VR, v VRA. So, you know, uh, I think that this is going to really hit people by surprise. If it 100x is in my eyes, right? And this is what I'm doing. I'm looking to uh, get in a project that could potentially 100x my money. Uh, let me just do this now. Uh, go like this, times it by 100, I'm talking a 6.2 billion market cap of the millions that is uh, involved in music, by the way. You know, there's a lot of money involved in music, tickets, just tickets alone that sell, they sell millions of dollars worth or millions of pounds worth. <clears throat> then you're, you're now talking about an offering of people a service where all those people that don't even go to events can sit at home and just do it on their phone. 
with a device you know technology grows nice pancake land. anyway so I'm, I'm just i'm seeing it guys i'm seeing it right now we've got we, we, we it's funny because when people talk about ever like uh, coins uh, projects and evolution like i didn't know that in the future we would have great technology like we have now you know I, i'm talking to you from a camera lens that is a 4k camera lens I remember like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I was sitting on my phone with a, a 3310 Nokia. And you know as well, you'd be playing Snake. <laughs> I'd be happy if I got radio on that. A little app. I got a radio app. You know, but now times have changed. Everything's touch screen. I remember the, the, the buttons. You've got to press like <laughs> B. You know, you've got to press the, the two twice to get the B. And you press it three times to get the C. <laughs> times have changed. People don't do that anymore. So what I'm saying is, evolution will you know technology will change as time evolves and i think that we will see it uh, what would it do to the price look at this look right now seven pence times 10 74 pence times 100 seven pound 40 pence that's what i'm calling for seek vr i think it's going to be doable if this is a max supply it says total supply one billion let me go on coin market cap coin market cap actually says it's a max supply here one billion let me just check on ethereum scan as well because if it is one billion I've seen coins with roughly a billion go to 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. So a seven pound price could certainly be doable for Seek VR. 23,000 holders, one billion max supply, as it says here, and I'm going to highlight it. So, you know, we could be looking at something here that could really perform well in the future that has strong use case for three different types of assets, VR, music, and what's the other one? Uh, metaverse and i'm and i'm really interested in this so i don't know i might try and grab uh, make it a goal of having like a hundred thousand of these tokens in the future that's a lot of money for some i know uh, but you know if you're average I, I still see myself as average uh you know i, I live an average life uh, maybe like i don't know what's 500 quid because i want i want baby mums to be able to just over time the next three to six months say you know what i ain't got a lot of money but if i was to take the risk 20 quid here and there i could probably get about 500 quid worth 500 quid worth quids worth gives you 6700 coins if i was you and you could afford it not financial advice i would lock in 10,000 tokens because if you lock in 10,000 tokens and this goes to like the seven pound price you're turning a 700 pound investment investment into 70 grand and i'm going to show you this because you'll have 10,000 tokens now Look at this, look, 10,000 tokens. And then, like I said, you wait patiently, 74, it goes to £7.40. Times this by uh, £7.40, you're selling each coin at £7.43, uh, because I'm going to take the first three digits. Look at this here, look. See, times 10, 74, uh, £7.43. So that's what you're going to sell each token at. You are turning 700 quid to 74 grand. It can be life changing for some. This is not financial advice i just wanted to share you a little insight as to why i became bullish on this whole project here and hopefully long term as time grows uh, goes and, and uh, things evolve we might see this absolutely explode in price like it did before with a stronger use case next time around because who knows vr and phone capability might become the most dominant thing in this space and vr with your phones might become the best thing that we see in this lifetime uh, it went as high as what's this up here look at this look yeah uh, let me try and get to the top it's not do it it's not let me do it there so uh, did i get out it's not let me do it there i'm gonna highlight this here all-time high 89 pence was his all-time high right there boom 89 pence and we can buy it right now for seven pence seven and a half pence so i'm gonna take the risk not financial advice i'm gonna take the risk and i'm gonna see what happens with sync vr is there a video we can check real quick what's this here this little video here yeah. oh there's got two and got vr venues as well what's the this? demand for iconic musical artists to loud. perform at live events exceeds their ability to Bring perform it down that many shows leaving them with missed revenue opportunities Let's and many fans without the chance to experience live shows. Like what I said to you, Seek people don't enables see users it. to virtually be there at live performances through the Seek VR it could or be. other VR headset, while physically being anywhere in the world. Seek VR is an award-winning developer of hardware and software for virtual reality experience. I'm going to pause so you can watch the rest in your own time. It's a two-minute thing. It could be a massive change in what we see in music going forward you know like i said many people don't have that time to be traveling to go to these places let's just have a look at some of the venues I'm gonna, gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to mute it because it's playing other people's music i don't want to get censored on this um <coughs> let me just make it big can i not make it big it's not it's not let me make it big 
I was trying to make it big. It's not letting me make it big. I wanted to make it big screen. It's not letting me do it. But you can see here some of the venues, right, in this video. And I can see people immersed in this. Regardless of what kind of avatar character you have or if it's VR, you're going to be immersed and you'll be able to run around, look at these kind of things. That It's not just venues they do. They're showing like a VR world and stuff as well. Um, just skip forward and have a quick look. Um, it says VR Pandora integration. Look, I'll let you guys look at this in your own time. I just wanted to show you that I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting bullish on this because I do think music's going to be a big thing. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. What do you think of this? Do you have Seek VR now? Maybe now could be a good time to dollar cost average if you bought him before. Uh, but I am leaning towards this. I think the music era, I told people, I think music's going to have an insane hype. Uh, and I, I just feel it. And the metaverse could take it there without people even thinking about it. People just be coming in here and just, you know, having fun with it kind of thing. So, um, yeah, guys, become a Patreon. Link's in my info section. Click it. Come over. I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier. They see these videos first, so they were watching this before you did, right? So they've got that chance to get in on these prices if they want to. If if it falls, you know, fine, buy some more. If it rises, then they're on their way to their journey to becoming a millionaire. <laughs> uh, uh, the exclusive VIP partner tier. This one unlocks all my posts. You will see when I'm buying, selling, staking, the whole lot, okay? So get a chance to grab some of that if you can afford it. And if you really can, got a bit more money on the side, go for my next tier above, this is my super alerts tier. My CEO tier gives you access to my VIP Telegram group. In there, I talk to them way before I buy, way before I sell. We're discussing things. Uh, and I remember talking to them about music and the whole how music can, will take over soon anyway and shock people in the next come, what, next eight months, did I say? So we'll see if it happens. Uh, but you get a quick edge on the market over here. And there's big money in this space. They know how to make money, sharing great projects all the time. So don't miss out. Uh, where's my thing? <laughs> here, guys, thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.